Apple just dropped iPadOS 26.2 Beta 1, and the moment you install it, you can tell something's different. The system feels fresher, smoother, and a bit more alive. There's a new look on the lock screen, smarter touches in apps, and that subtle sense that Apple is finally polishing the iPad experience instead of just maintaining it. Let's dive into how this beta actually feels in use, because it might just be the most promising update we've had in a while. So, here's the deal. Apple hasn't officially listed the exact size of iPadOS 26.2 Beta 1 for iPad yet, but early installs suggest it's roughly 8.5 gigabytes, based on data from the iPhone 17 Pro Max. That's a pretty hefty update, so make sure you've got plenty of space before diving in. As for supported devices, the rule's simple. If your iPad can run iPadOS 26, it can handle this beta too. That includes the latest iPad Pro models, iPad Air, 3rd gen and newer, and the standard iPad lineup from recent years. Still, it's a beta, so always back up your data and keep enough free storage to avoid installation errors. Now, here's something interesting. Apple didn't stop there. Alongside iPadOS 26.2 Beta 1, they rolled out iOS 26.2 Beta 1 for iPhones, plus matching builds for macOS, watchOS, and even tvOS. So if you live deep inside the Apple ecosystem, this update touches nearly everything. Your iPhone, your iPad, even your watch. It's all connected, and that's exactly how Apple wants it. According to multiple sources, iPadOS 26.2 Beta 1 carries the build number 23C5027F. That's the first official developer release in this cycle. It also includes a modem firmware update for devices moving up from iOS or iPadOS 26.1. So, if you're installing it on a cellular iPad, expect that little modem update flash during setup. It's part of the process. But here's the catch. For certain devices using the C1 modem, like the latest iPad Pro M5 models, Apple has pulled the update or made it temporarily unavailable due to connectivity issues. In short, if your iPad runs on a C1 modem, it's better to hold off for now until Apple re-releases a fixed build. the new liquid glass slider brings an extra layer of customization to the lock screen. You can now control how transparent or solid your clock and widgets appear, from a subtle frosted blur to a glossy liquid-like finish. This gives your iPad a fresh, dynamic look that changes with your wallpaper and lighting. The sleep score system has been reworked with new measurement ranges. The very low category now spans 0 to 40 points instead of 0 to 29, and very high now starts at 96 instead of 90. This adjustment makes Apple's sleep tracking more consistent and realistic, providing results that better reflect your actual rest patterns. The Reminders app now includes support for alarms linked to urgent tasks. When you mark a reminder as urgent, the system can trigger a real alert sound at the exact time you set. It's especially useful for time-sensitive tasks, the reminder now behaves more like a mini alarm clock instead of a simple notification. Live translation has expanded for AirPods users in the European Union. The feature now supports more languages, including English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, and works across additional devices. It allows for smoother real-time communication during travel or multilingual meetings. The Podcasts app has gained automatic chapter generation, similar to YouTube videos. Chapters appear while listening and in the episode's transcript, letting you skip directly to specific moments. Linked content in the transcript is now clickable, improving navigation for both listeners and creators. Apple News has received a more organized interface. There are new quick access buttons for sections like sports, politics, business, food, and puzzles, plus a following tab that groups your favorite topics and sources. Searching is also cleaner, displaying related sections right within the search bar. Finally, enhanced safety alerts now offer stronger security feedback. You can choose how alerts are displayed, including an option for the entire screen to flash instead of only using the LED. This makes urgent notifications easier to notice in loud or bright environments, adding another small but thoughtful layer of accessibility and awareness. Since this is an early beta release, bugs are expected. 
some users have reported stuttering and lag when scrolling through the widget page and the home screen, especially on earlier builds of iPad OS 26. The update has also been withdrawn for certain devices with the C1 modem due to cellular connection problems, which made installation unavailable for some iPad Pro models. Several users mentioned their devices running hotter than usual and experiencing faster battery drain shortly after installation, likely while background processes finish indexing. Apple's fixes at this stage are limited. The company usually uses first betas to introduce features and gather feedback rather than finalize stability. If your iPad is a daily work device, it may be safer to wait for the stable release. Some users say the system feels a bit smoother overall and that Safari loads pages with fewer lags, while others still experience frame drops when moving between the home screen and widgets. Responsiveness can vary depending on the device, and minor glitches are still common. Battery life. Users report faster battery drain right after installing iPadOS 26.2 Beta 1. This is common after major updates, as the system re-indexes files and re-optimizes background processes during the first day or two. Battery health. There's no verified data yet showing whether this beta affects the battery's maximum capacity, but as with any test build, the risk of increased wear is higher. Before updating, check your battery condition under Settings, Battery, Battery Health. If your iPad's battery is already showing signs of degradation, it might be better to wait for the stable release. Storage. While the exact install size for iPad hasn't been confirmed, similar reports from the iPhone version suggest around 8.5 gigabytes of space required. However, users notice that the system can take up more storage right after installation because of indexing and temporary data rebuilds. One user mentioned, my system data nearly tripled instantly, so heads up if you're running low on space. It's recommended to free up at least 5 to 20% of your total storage and make a full backup before installing to avoid setup errors or sluggish performance afterward. What's next? Apple typically releases new beta builds every one to two weeks, so iPadOS 26.2 Beta 2 will likely arrive around mid-November. Based on previous cycles, we can expect three or four betas in total before the final public release, which should roll out in December bringing refined stability and broader device support. So, to wrap things up, iPadOS 26.2 Beta 1 feels like a real step forward. The design looks fresher, the system reacts faster, and those small touches, like the liquid glass slider, actually make the iPad feel more personal. But let's be honest, it's still a beta. That means random bugs, extra heat, quicker battery drain, and a few devices, especially those with the C1 modem, might not play nicely yet. If your iPad is your daily workhorse, don't risk it. Wait for the stable release. But if you've got a spare device and you love trying out new features before everyone else, go for it. Just make sure you back up everything first. Clear out some storage, check your battery health, and don't hit install five minutes before an important meeting. Once it's updated, leave your iPad plugged in for a while, let it finish all that background setup, and see how it behaves. Watch the heat, the battery, and those little system hiccups.